Uh, good afternoon again from uh, Friendship Moments. Uh, you know, it's just amazing, another beautiful day that God has created for us, and we're just enjoying it. We've, we've had several storms, but, you know, the, the neighborhoods are starting to get cleared up and debris moved, and springtime stuff is sprouting out. It's a new birth, as they say. It's amazing how the earth is just opening up and making everything beautiful again the flowers and the trees and you know a lot of things are just about full lead and uh it's, uh it's just amazing what god created for us to enjoy and to take care of and maintain uh tonight i'm going to read from psalms again and uh this is kind of in line with uh sister betty's message that she presented tonight about who's taking care of us and looking over us during these times that we go through. King David, he wrote several of the Psalms. And, you know, he was a music, or a music instrument maker too. He made a lot of music instruments and stuff to go along with these Psalms. And, uh, you know, that's what God wants to, when you, you know, praise him, he likes music. And, he likes the songs too, but it's when it's praising him and giving him the glory, using it the right way. And uh, we just thank him for that. And it's just amazing what you see in his word, that stuff that we're still using today. And even in the construction business or whatever it may be, medical, whatever, a lot of it comes from this book right here. Because it tells us there's nothing old and there's nothing new. You know, we're just at a different time. But I'm thankful that God gives mankind the knowledge and the know-how to do what they do. But God needs to be given the credit for that. Because God gives man the wisdom and the knowledge to, you know, to do what they do. But a lot of it is for his word and to understand his word and give him the glory for it. But I'm going to read from Psalms 40, verses uh, 1 through 6. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of the horrible pit, out of the mire clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings and he hath put a new song in my mouth even praise unto our God many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respecteth not the proud nor such as turn aside to lies many O lord my god are thy wonderful works which thou hast done and thy thoughts which are to us where they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee if I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offerings thou didst, not desire my ears, hast thou opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings hast thou not required. You know, in life, we experience wonderful, prosperous times. But there's a flip side, as Brother Les would say. Unfortunately, we also experience less pleasant times. In difficult times, though, we must not question God but cast our cares on him. 
following in David's footsteps as he praises God for his care and his faithfulness. You know, David went through some hard times. And he created a lot of those hard times himself because the flesh took over. But it says that David was after, you know, was after God's own heart. He changed. He got converted. He, he got saved when he saw what God was, was doing for him. He gave God the praise because, as they would say, David was a rascal. And I can say the same thing. I was a rascal. But thank God for his grace and his patience. And when he saved me, it's just, but this, that they call this the book of life. It's, it's what we're to you. We're to live by this word. And, and I pray that our nation will come to its senses and realize that God is the only way. God will heal our land if we will turn to him and live by his word. And it's not just our land, it's all the land. You know, it's, it's just amazing the corruptness and the evil and everything that's going on today. But God's word is the answer. We all have tribulations, down times, and whatever it may be. But God already knows the outcome. And he'll bring you through these storms and make you stronger. Your faith will be stronger when you get through it. You'll see, you'll understand why you went through it. It's to make your heart strong and your faith strong. And that's what he wants, to give him the praise for getting you through those times. You know, medicine and doctors can do it, but if God, it's nothing compared to God's grace that gets you through this stuff. And as believers, though, we, get, we all realize that this is all temporary anyway. This is not our permanent home. And as believers, we know where our home will be with him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, again, I just thank you for today, and I thank you for this word, and I thank you for what you give us, dear Lord, and just because we need to realize, dear Lord, we're nothing without you. We're just a whiff of air, but not, not believing in you. But dear Lord, I thank you for this word, and I thank you for everything that you do for us, Father. I thank you for my family, and I thank you for my my kids, my grandkids, my great-grandkids, dear Lord. You're an amazing God, dear Lord, what you provide us. And dear Lord, again, I just look to you for strength and guidance. And I thank you for this little church by the road. And Dear Lord, I pray that these devotionals and these words will touch someone and help them to open the book and look to you, Father, because we know you're the one that answers that touches the hearts and opens the hearts. We just pray that these seeds will spread and you know, and that's, that's what it's about, dear Lord. Just hoping and praying that somebody hears these words. And dear Lord, again, we just look to you for strength and guidance and we love you and we trust you, Father, with all our hearts. In your precious and holy name we pray, amen.